Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So today we will solve this problem. So let first read the problem. Uh, for the below circuit, determine the small signal differential gain and the common mode gain. Neglect channel length modulation for M1, M2, M3 and M4. RSS is a resistance in shunt to the current source ISS. As a symmetry like uh, GM1, GM2, GM3 and GM4 are equal, right? Like GM1 equals GM2 and GM3 equals GM4. So to solve this type of differential uh, PR circuit, we have look. We have to look first uh, is the circuit is symmetrical or not. So here we can see this is a PMOS and this is a resistance connected in this manner. And here also a PMOS and a resistance connect in the same manner. So this is a purely like fully symmetrical circuit. Okay. So if the circuit is symmetrical our calculations and and like uh, all the intuition become so easy to predict right uh, so for symmetrical circuit uh, for common mode and for fully differential mode we know that uh, like first let us talk about differential signal applied uh, in this uh, symmetrical differential pair circuit so this is the this is our line of symmetry right and we know that uh, for symmetrical and differential input of the differential pair circuit uh, this line of symmetry point doesn't change with respect to time like it is incrementally grounded like this is AC grounded and incremental voltage at this line of symmetry is always zero don't look whatever is connected at the tail load it uh, has to be a AC ground if the circuit is purely symmetrical okay uh, so for uh, differential uh, input our circuit reduced to the following circuit right so here we have PMOS connected with a resistance this is small signal ground and this is also small signal ground and we have this vd vd is nothing but we know if this is v1 and if this is v2 so our vd is v1 minus v2 right this is the differential voltage we know and this is also ac ground so this is also ac ground so what is this voltage uh, in terms of vd right and this is r and this is let's say gm3 yes gm3 so we know that this become a normal common source amplifier and the resistance looking here is r parallel ro3 right and here it is mentioned that channel length modulation is neglected so output resistance of each, each MOSFET is infinite so R parallel infinite means R. So the simple circuit look like this. So we know gain of this circuit. So V out by VD is nothing but minus GM1 and this is M1 times R. So this is our differential mode gain and for common mode gain this is fully symmetrical circuit uh, so we know that uh, for symmetrical circuit every component like it is comes into parallel like if there is r then the effective common mode half circuit will be r by 2 if there is gm present it will be 2 gm if there is capacitance capacitor it will be uh, 2c and so on we know that right and the uh, the uh, hot uh, hot hot circuitry present at the tail load 
it remains at it as at is it so uh, for that uh, we can uh, redraw our circuit as follows and this is incrementally zero like vdd then we have this resistance and this resistance value will be r by 2 this will be 2 gm3 right this will be our vcm common mode small signal and as we are in small signal model this iss source is inactive so there is only rss right this is our v out so what is the gain and we can think that no current can go to this branch right i equals 0 here so no voltage drop across r by 2 so this is basically a short circuit right so if this is short, short circuit the looking impedance is here is 1 over this 2 gm3 right this is nothing but a diode connected load okay so if we redraw the circuit again this become a sorry this is our ac small signal ground this is our diode connected load and this is our mosfet m1 so looking up here is so resistance looking up here is 1 over 2 gm3 and there is vcm common mode input signal and this is rss so this is pretty simple circuit this is a common source circuit with uh, degeneration uh, source degeneration so we will find this uh, like overall gain let's say let's say uh, acm common mode gain nothing but v out over vcm is nothing but like gmr out formula you we all know right so if we calculate the gm if there is a short degeneration the uh, the uh, overall gm having only one uh, only one mosfet like uh, that will amplify the uh, signal is nothing but uh, gm over 1 plus gmrs right into or out so in this case in this case our overall gm is nothing but 2 gm right 2 gm3 uh, sorry 2 gm1 and this will be also 2 gm1 right we already said that every component become parallel Uh, so this will be 1 plus 2 gm 1 by into r and here r out is nothing but the parallel combination of ro1 and this 1 over 2 gm3 and here already mentioned that r1 is infinite so only we have r out as 1 over 2 gm3 right so these two these two cancels so we left gm1 whole divided by gm3 1 plus 2 gm1 r so this is our final common mode gain and this is our this is our differential mode gain yes always as it is a common source configuration so there will be a negative sign you know that right so look into this question so our answer will be uh, option second option right so you can solve this uh, this circuit in like in this in this uh, way thank you everyone <laughs>